by Haley Durand. Pictures by David Small. It was December, and Marshall's class had heard stories about runaway gingermen all week long. Marshall didn't believe a word of it. They can't run for real, he told everybody. No way! Hope you're right, Mrs. Gray said, because we're baking ours today. Marshall got a nod, gave a nod. He knew he was right. That afternoon, Marshall and his friends poured in the flour, sugar, and some dark sticky stuff. That's molasses, Marshall told them. Marshall was the mixer, and even when his arms got tired, he kept going with the dough. He couldn't wait to get his cookie. Kudos, Marsh, said Mrs. Gray. You rocked that dough. Marshall gave a nod. He knew he rocked it. Marshall put some stuff on his gingerbread man, a silver ball belt, and six eyes. He really liked raisins. His cookie was looking tasty. Mrs. Gray double-checked the oven door once the gingerbread men were safely inside. Locked, she said. When the timer finally went off, Mrs. Gray said to Marshall, Fearless leader, take us to the kitchen. But when they looked in the oven, there was nothing inside. They ran away, everyone yelled. Let's get them. Marshall didn't buy it. They left us a clue, said Mrs. Gray. If you can find us, we'll be your snack. But if you can't, we're never coming back. We ran from the oven. We were bored and hot. Now we're hiding in a big black. Henry jumped up. Pot, pot, the big black pot. Inside was another note. Too bad you didn't catch us. Cause we taste like candy. Now we're on vacation on a beach that's... Sandy! Everyone yelled, the sand table. They all started running, everybody but Marshall. He turned that pot over and ran his hand around inside. He felt something soft and small, a raisin. Marshall put it right in his pocket. At the sand table, Mrs. Gray read the next note. Woo, she said, bad handwriting. You didn't find us this time, and a hee-hee-ho. You thought we might be slow, cause we're only made of dough. We're very fast cookies, and we also like to brag. See if you can find us. We'll be playing... Tag, said Avery. They can't run, said Marshall. Can so, said Avery. Let's go, said Mrs. Gray. Everyone ran to the gym. Well, everybody but Marshall. Can I see that clue, he asked. The writing was bad. No way it was Mrs. Gray's. The next clue was on the bleachers. We've had a great time and we haven't made a mess. We've, we're very impressed that you're trying your best. If you don't find us this time, the game's all done. You will have lost, and the G-men will have won. That's not a clue, said Henry. They were stuck. They were hungry, and they wanted to win. Everybody huddled. But Marshall sat down, considering the evidence, the raisin in his pocket, the bad handwriting. What if the G-men could run? That's when he saw the silver ball on the gym floor. There was only one place it could have come from. Then he saw the footprints. They were gingerbread footprints, 
hundreds of them. Marshall didn't make a sound. Those guys played hard, he thought. They've got to be tired. That was it. They're taking a nap, Marshall hollered. Everyone searched in the bleachers and under the mats. No luck. Had the G-men won? If I needed a nap, thought Marshall, I'd go to bed. They're in the doll corner, he yelled. Marshall led the way this time. And there were the little gingerbread men, sound asleep in the doll bed. Marshall's guy was right there in the middle, minus an eye and a ball from his belt. He must have been the ringleader. Everyone cheered they had caught the G-men. Marshall gave his cookie back his eye. You really can run, he said. Good sleuthing, said Mrs. Gray. Marshall gave a nod. He knew he had good sleuthing, ev whatever that was. When Marshall's dad came to pick him up, Marshall kept his G-man cl close. Dad, Marshall said once they were in the car. Yeah, bud? Lock the doors. Why is that? said his dad. So my cookie can't get out, said Marshall. They can run for real, you know. His dad gave a nod. He knew they could run. <laughs>